Today we will be walking through on how to set up HQ player with Rune. This will give you the maximum audio quality in your home setup. So what is HQ player? HQ player is a high quality playback software developed by Signalish. It was designed to enhance the audio quality of a digital music by using advanced algorithms for upsampling, filtering and converting the digital to analog audio. It offers various upsampling methods. What you can do over here is convert your CD quality audio to higher bit rates of PCM and even convert it into DSD. They offer also different kinds of filters which can be used while you upsample the audio to tailor the sound according to the personal preferences. Overall, HU Player is a powerful tool for audiophiles which maximize the quality of digital audio playback. Today, we will walk you through on how to convert your CD quality signal to a higher PCM or a DSD signal. So here are some requirements which HQ player needs to set it up. And the recommended hardware for your DAC. So these are some DACs or streamers which use HQ player or can use HQ player. The most important part over here will be your PC should be capable enough to upsample or use these filters effectively and smoothly. There are two ways to run HQ player. Currently, one we can use a USB output from your Rune core or what you can do is use a network audio adapter also called as an AA. These are the list of devices which support a built-in network audio adapter. Currently, we will be using the Gustard R26 DAC which I have. What this does is basically it convert, controls the HU player and the Rune over a network ad audio adapter and sends your audio to the DAC directly without having your system or a PC or a laptop in between. Now we will compare how PCM and DSD upsampling are different. And there is a short comparison what I have done on both of these ways. So PCM basically is pulse code modulation. It involves increasing the sample rate and the bit depth of the audio signal. Whereas DSD is direct stream digital. It involves converting the PCM signal to a DSD format and uses a different encoding method based on the pulse density modulation. So the DSD upsampling can offer a different sonic character compared to a PCM. To compare both of these signatures or sound signatures, I would say a PCM upsampling tends to offer more analytical and detailed sound, while the DSD upsampling provides a smoother, more analog like presentation with a slightly warmer tonality. Based on the processing requirements, DSD upsampling is typically more power hungry and requires more computational resources. So you need to have a powerful PC and a GPU to use more like most of the filters from the list what we have already. The choice between PCM and DSD will depend on personal preference and the system synergy. Some people would prefer PCM, the way it sounds, the detailed presentation and the others will prefer the DSD sound which is more smoother and analog like. HU player comes with different DSD and PACM filters. These filters and modulators offer different sonic improvements to the way you listen to the music. These are some of the best and the most acclaimed filters used by many users. I have listed it down and there are certain short notes providing how these differ from each other and which one you should use. Again, these won't be capable with your system based on the PC or the GPU what you are using so try using them out and see if which one suits you. The most important thing to do before doing the upsampling will be to disable the 
oversampling within the DAC. Most DACs come with uh, internal oversampling. So some of the DACs have these capabilities to turn it off manually. On the Gustar, what we do is we go to the settings. And if you see over here, we have options like PCM, NOS. What it means is enabling the non oversampling mode or disabling it. If you want to upsample using PCM, you will have to enable this on the Gustard. And if you want to upsample to DSD, you will have to enable the DSD direct. So currently I'm upsampling everything to DSD. So I have it enabled already. But for PCM, I will keep it off. That is, I will use the internal oversampling. First things first, make sure you have both Rune and HUPlayer installed on your system. Once that is done, we can get started. On the Rune app, what you do is go to the settings, setup tab, and you will see a HQ player listening over here. What you can do is click on add HQ player and let this be local host and click on add. Once that is done, move to the audio settings. Scroll down and you will see a tab listing as HQ player. The name would be local host or something else. You can rename it. Currently, we are using the Gustard R26 DAC, so we will keep it that way. Click on the settings, device setup, check the settings of your DAC and make sure everything is right. The MQA capabilities, volume control. I, I prefer keeping this as fixed volume control. The reason I will let you know once I try setting up the HU player. Enable MQA code decoder, channel layout to channel. Once this is done, you can move to the HU player set settings. Over here, go to File, Settings. Leave the input settings as it is. What you can go is Outputs. Over here, we are selecting the network audio adapter. So for the Gustav R26, so we will keep it that way. The device which was recognized over here is a Gustard. It will still show you as USB, but this is a LAN input from the Gustard. Currently, I'm upsampling everything to DSD, but you can choose to select PCM. I will show you what are the differences between upsampling to PCM and DSD in the next slide. Next, what you do is select the adaptive rate have the volume at a minus 3 dB gain. This will allow a more headroom while playing music and avoid distortion. Next, when we move to PCM tab, over here we have our filters which we use to upsample your PCM signal. Over here we can select upsampling to 768 or whatever your DAC supports. We will by selecting to 768. These are the third shapes. What you can do is have few settings based on the preferences what you have. The bitrate should be calculated based on what your DAC is capable of. Currently, Gustav bitrate has been set to 15. These are some noise filters which we use and the conversion. Moving to the SDM, this is the DSD part where the upsampling is done. Currently, I'm selecting Polysingers Longs filter and this is a modulator which is a Super 512FS. Bitrate is 512. So what this does is it will upsample my 44.1 kHz signal or a CD quality signal to a 512 DSD signal. Moving to this advanced tab, this is the most important tab. Enable CUDA offload. If you have a capable GPU, what this will do is offload the processing to your graphic card or your GPU. 
if you have a good multi core uh, cpu you can enable multi core dsp also so these are the few settings what we have what i will do is i will share these settings on the description video so that you can just copy it so i will show you how to export the settings also i'm clicking on export settings over here i have settings saved i will add a setting over here save what you can do is similar to exporting you can just import the settings and that's it done now we'll move to rune and test if everything works as we would want the first thing i would do is check a song which is a cd quality song and test it out let's test a uh, stereo signal if everything is working correctly if everything is there once that is done you come to rune again over here what we will do is try to play a song and see if everything is working as we would want i'll move to album which is a cd quality album and try to play it using the r26 network audio adapter and the sampling in my zones i will select my hu player zone and play it will take some time based on your system based on the processing power of your cpu and gpu it will start playing if you click on this enhance icon you will see the source the authentication what it is outputting to what are the filters selected and what is the output quality make sure you see and play every song what you have heard to see the differences and know how different it sounds all the filters you have selected play along with the filters and know how they will be sounding once you move to hu player over here you will see the song and the format which is getting up sampled to now what we will do is we will try to play a song which is quite demanding and which is already in a dsd format so if you see over here it's a dsd song a dsd album when i try to play it it takes some a while but it starts playing over here we are up sampling the dsc64 signal to a dsd512 another song to test would be a 192 bit rate song the reason why i am suggesting this is because not all pcs would be able to play this song again my pc is quite powerful hence i am able to play this moving to the last part of the video which one should you choose pcm or dsd of sampling again this will depend on the choices you make or the system capabilities you have the way you like to hear the sound Do you prefer analytical or do you prefer smooth sounding and lock sound? Try out all the filters and the modulators which you prefer and get the best out of HQ player. It will take some time some tweaking to get to the level of sound what you want and what you prefer. But the rewards are really good. So do try it out and thanks. So do try it out and thanks for watching this video.